Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a working tutorial on how to get custom tracks on PSP versions of Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories using this program called EAC Exact Audio Copy PSP Edition and other requirement is you will need a disc, a working disc that has songs on it. Just keep in mind that the link in the description to EAC PSP edition, it's not the original website, it's on a different website that it has been published on, because I think the original one has been removed, so if you don't trust this, then don't proceed with this tutorial. But anyways, we have a working CD, it's in the disc tray, and my computer can read it properly, and... So, these are the 16 tracks that I will be using for this tutorial. So, once you have EAC downloaded and installed, and your disc is, or CD, is in the disc tray, when you open up uh, EAC PSP edition, you'll see that tracks will pop up. Now, press the, or select all of them, and click on the PC with the arrow, so you can drag and copy it to some other location on the computer and it will convert all these songs hopefully into the extension of TOC so the process will start after choosing your specified location where be the processed tracks will be stored and you press OK to confirm and then you'll see this green bar at the top that's the current progress of the current track that's being uh, converted and the bottom or the second bar is the other progress bar of the total tracks being converted so we're just gonna have to wait a while and based on the estimated uh, time remaining on the second bar below that the information displays they will take a while so just bear that in mind so the track is nearly complete and it's going to be finalized and then it'll continue with the next track and then after that more tracks until you get to the final one that you're going to be converting So the first track was successful, it successfully copied and converted to .toc extension and I will wait for the rest of them. I have already converted other tracks from my other CDs and from those experiences some of them weren't successful so keep that in mind. Probably and most likely because they are old and they have a few scratches on them, so that's likely the reason. So they were unreadable, and so I couldn't copy. But most of them were a success, and I'm happy about that, though. So if you're in the scenario that your CD is not working properly, you cannot... Um, uh, copy and convert one track then at the bottom left corner or the bottom option that you can see in this window just press skip track and then confirm and the process will stop and well for the current track it will stop and it will immediately skip it and go with the next track if you want so yeah if you need to use that So unfortunately this final track I'm trying to convert is not successful, the bar is very slow so, and the estimation is not great so I'm just going to have to skip this, believe it or not this is not the only one that I had to skip, I had to skip at least three others so yeah this is the fourth 
and after that conversion you'll ha see this logbook showing the quality of the songs and that once converted how they will look and yeah it'll show if there were any errors so it's quite useful anyways yeah so the conversion wasn't that great but most of them were so I'm fine with not getting all of them I'm really okay with that I will try and another time unless if they're really inaccessible but anyways you can close the both windows and then we'll open the folder that has the converted songs and as you can see these are all the ones I got and they are now in .toc extension now the next step is change the toc extension to dot gta do this for each and every track you have and yes you'll get the confirmation of uh, alert that's saying if you change the extension of the file it may be unplayable but it will be playable within GTA Vice City and Vice uh, Liberty City Stories, so it's fine. So that it's when it's in uh, GTA, you can place it in a folder, which I will tell later on. Just right now, focus on converting or changing the name of the .toc extension to GTA. Each and every one of them. So this next step is definitely recommended, which you don't have to do to make it work, but rename the file name of the track because you want to label them to make sure that you know which track is which uh, when you scroll through the custom tracks in-game. If it's like saying, let's say you label them track 1, track 2, track 3, you don't exactly know what song you're going to be listening to so rename it um this uh this song or all, all these songs are from the album monkey business of black eyed peas it's a very old cd i have and so i'm just going to change the name the title would be black eyed peas and then dash and then the name of the song so i choose to uh Put the first name of the artist and then the, the title of the song and then that's it and then I repeat everything for the rest of the tracks. So let me just finish this up and then now all titles have been edited now move your folder that it is in the tracks are in and then you want to place it in your save data folder where your game saves are for your PSP but for PPSSPP it works similar just put it in PSP save data and mine's in the default location where there's documents now your folder should be your region code so you want to find that out and I can easily find that out but if I launch VCS or LCS and then in the top left corner of PPSSPP it will say the the region code like UL, US and then a few numbers like 5 so I will use the co region code that I have and then after that custom tracks in all caps and I'll do the same with VCS um, 
For VCS, for me personally, mine's European version, so U-L-E-S at the start, and then Liberty City Stories is U-L-U-S, and then the numbers after of the U.S. code, region code, but yeah. Now that the custom tracks are in its own folder where it should be, and that's it. The process is complete, just make sure you figure out what your region code is, and I will be showing you on PPSSPP that the custom tracks work. So let's launch LCS first. On PPSSPP, it's very easy to locate the region code, it's right up there. Uh, if your uh, tab of PSP, PPSSPP is in windowed mode, you'll easily see it up the top corner. So yeah, when you launch your game, you'll see. And throughout this video, the music tracks that I will be showing you will be muted. I might release a video with the audio unmuted so you can hear the tracks as proof but anyways take my word for it for now i might release a video just might okay with it unmuted but yeah we'll see how things go but yeah when i'm in game and i change the radio it's easy the you know it's easy to navigate and the tracks work properly so that's really good and make sure that I've done before in starting up on the game you want to pause the set to the settings menu go to audio and then turn on custom tracks that's the first thing you should do and need to do so before listening to them because you cannot listen to radio or that between them see so if you have one thing is on, you cannot listen to the other. So when you turn on custom tracks, it'll turn off radio temporarily. But yeah, you can switch between the two. Now let's see VCS. Now VCS, in my opinion, for custom tracks, it's way better. It's more organized, and I'll show you in the pause menu. So let's go outside and into the garage with my vehicle that I have this nice comet so when you immediately go to audio um, the custom tracks are organized it actually shows you what tracks you have and it'll show you the name of them so remember to turn on custom soundtracks and then you got this uh, what do you call it like list list of songs so you see you press X and then you can switch between them even here which is so much better than Liberty City Stories so if you want to change it in the pause menu you can not only in game so that's really cool this cool list of songs you got but yeah so custom tracks definitely work and it's an easy conversion you just need a CD and the PSP edition of EAC exact audio copy and same as before, like Liberty City Stories, you can easily change the radio stations in game, and they all work, but I have to mute it. So if you want me to release a video of it actually working and you can hear the music, then just feel free to ask. Anyways, that is the tutorial on how to convert your CD songs and use them in game so few requirements needed once you have them you're good to go anyways i'll see you in the next tutorials and walkthroughs so yeah i'll see you there bye